Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor. And <laughs> everyone's dying. <laughs> so always a lovely start to an episode that is. Um, we do have a few more people than we, we had last time, but unfortunately the population is, is dwindling. Now, before we do anything else, because we're trying to get at least 2,000 people. So if we just look over the past 50 years, it was going up. Kind of st and then we got this kind of big jump here and then it's just started to drop again and we're slowly kind of getting there but we got for a long way off the 2000 mark uh, we've just got only just got back to a thousand so, which is which is positive food not too bad because we're trading in so much and we've still got so much in reserve um like i said at the end of the last episode i'll chuck a few more houses in here just so i didn't just spend half the time building houses I've not done the upstair parts of these yet um, basically because we built quite a lot of houses and when you build a lot a lot of people die at the same time so we're in what 130 years now we'll, we'll give it to 131 and we'll put the next layer on 132 and we'll do the, the final layer if I remember that is um, but as you can see we've put them in I've put another school in and we give it a bit of like school grounds um, I need to put some things in there. It's a shame there's no like seesaws or <laughs> those kind of things. That'd be a nice touch, uh, but we, you know there isn't. So yeah, so we'll figure something out. We'll be creative. I need to do something with this area here. I'm not sure yet, but whenever I do a market, I like to do these little fenced-off areas, and it looks like I've missed a piece of fence there. So that's the first thing we'll do. It's a good way of stopping people walking diagonally across things as well because they have to go around these in, in general they will but occasionally they won't for whatever reason but it is because it's all kind of built up now it's, it stops people just walking anywhere they have to use the paths I say that and they, they use the slow road here why not why are they doing that uh, maybe it's because they want to get around here and they're being sneaky hmm Anyway, <laughs> we will we, we will ignore that for the moment. Right, what I'm actually going to do, we're going to come away from this hustle and bustle. I've started putting a few more extra props around these areas as well, some benches where they could sit down and have a have a relax. Might be an idea to actually put a, um, a well in here if it'll let me. Yeah, well, I just need to remove a piece of rope, so let's just quickly do that while we're here. That'd be a good place to put that. Maybe here. Let's see if someone does that quickly. And we can get a well in. If I can find where it is. Yep. Just in case, because <laughs> there's always that tendency for something to set on fire. Here we are. Thank you. There we go. But yeah, you know, this is looking quite alright. Again, we're limited to the, you know, the little props let's call them but you know i'm looking forward to 1.6 there's going to be a lot more of those oh dear oh one thing as well i want your opinion on this because i'm not sure remember we used to have the trading dock here and um, mainly for seeds I'll, I'll put this in the place of it because it can make food but i'm not too sure because it does take quite a bit of area so let me know what you think and maybe i'll remove that and i don't know maybe put some houses there um, we'll, have, we'll have a think about that but I would really appreciate your thoughts on that one so what I'm going to actually do <laughs> we're going to come back over here since we've not been here for so long and we're going to start putting down some wigwams or teepees whatever the, the correct way of pronouncing them is let's have a look teepee we're going we're gonna to make a little bit of a start on this now I don't mind the forest taking over this area at least let's remove, remove all. Um, just on the basis that they, I think it's just the way it probably would have been. They'll have a little bit of clearer area. But, yeah, definitely. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it a little bit more overgrown. That's going to be a little bit laggy. Let's so just go across here. We've, we have actually taken up quite a bit of land now, haven't we? Where's the map? Yeah, we're still, well, actually, we're only still here, so we still have all this space out here, really. 
So I could literally just put farmland and houses everywhere, and we'll probably hit that two thousand quite quickly. But let's let's try and keep it keep it looking nice. So we've got the trader, we've got the totem pole. So we've got. An okay, so the wigwam's slightly bigger. I guess that must be where the chief lives. So hopefully we've got everything we need to build these. So I'll probably put these more in in here. Let's have a look. Of a mountain area, so maybe here. What's this cave-ins? This is where I'm losing most of my people, unfortunately. Um, what's the campfire? What's the wigwam there? So, oh, that's so that three. One, two, three, four. Well, it would be. It'd have to be awkward. Let's put the campfire somewhere around there. Need to get them to clear some more of these trees actually just maybe in this area a little bit so I can see what I'm doing and we'll come up here with this actually oh. oh you can't really see it you can't drag it either I wonder yeah, I'm not too sure about that Rob. let's put a few of these down just to see what they look like maybe we'll use them instead of Instead of this kind of gravel road. Okay. I hate it when trees get in the way. It doesn't help when it snows either because you can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Alright, what else? Crosses, maybe? That might kind of give them a, a makeshift graveyard, not a real one. Although I could use a couple of the ghosts' decorations. Scarecrow. Okay, so literally placing anywhere on your map. Okay, so. Ah! Oh, well. These will probably come in quite useful. Do you know, I've never really looked at them. Well, I'm going to have to try those out later on. Maybe not in this situation. Where have we got now? Let's try and find the, the TPs. Where on earth was the wigwam? It's here. Come on, get to this point. Prioritize. Where is it from? You think I'd know how that <laughs> how that button looked by now? I use it so much. Let's speed it up a little bit. I kind of need to get through the winter so I can see where everything is. I'm going to probably plant some of my own trees here though. I know they'll grow naturally, but just for like the decorative purposes. We'll kind of we'll jazz this up a little bit. I do like this bridge though. Right, can we get some more of these? There we are. And we'll send a road off up here somewhere as well. I kind of want it towards the wigwam, but I'm not sure if I'm going to take it the whole way. All these people coming from nowhere. There must be a lot of children being born recently. This is good. Oh, winter's so long. That tree's having a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not looking healthy, is it? Right. Native TP. I really wish we could put these things in diagonally. So I've got one there. A little space. One there. There's a little bit of guesswork at the moment, so it might not line up how I want it. Now, you can see me removing these later on. Let's see what this is. Cool, look at all the stone statues. No wonder the, the stone solo. That is actually something I need to tackle though. Because even now, I've got 22 people in here working away. Now, the, these guys are churning through it so quick. I'm actually surprised to see some surplus there. 
makes a change. Uh, slow this down to five while I'm moving. Otherwise, we'll never get there. Here we go. Slowly but surely. Now well, we've got our well. And people, I, mean, I don't know where it is, but we need to find out about this. They tend to have this thing of standing around a well when they've got nothing better to do. And I'm not sure why they do that. Maybe maybe I'm missing something. Where are we? We're over here, weren't we? There we are. Well, at least they've started on on the wigwam, so that'll be the uh, the chief's house. Yeah, actually, they look a little bit further away than these ones. So, da, 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 move. I don't know. I can't. It'll keep me awake all night if I actually leave it and <laughs> and don't put it. Something very similar. It doesn't have to be the same. So, well, who am I kidding? It, it does have to be the same, pretty much. So basically, if I do that, and then so it's gonna be about there with a space between. <laughs> But it still be wrong. Put one there. And I think that's about the same. Don't like where the campfire is, so we're gonna move that. <laughs> I get really finicky about these things. I, I can't really explain it. Some people would call it O C D. I mean I'd call it insanity, but oh, well oh, that no, that lagged a little bit there. I thought it was about to crash on me. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's the last thing I want. Right, campfire. Where were we? Somewhere, yeah, probably somewhere there. It's very close to where it was, but you know, placement is everything, and. I want one of these either side of here because I kind of, kind of like these. A native longhouse. We'll put this. We'll put this kind of here. So it kind of goes along with this sort of building. Let's look at this. Hmm. Nah, I'm not. I'm not overly struck of those. Let me know what you think. If if you guys like them, but I can actually remove them. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, let me know what you think. Because if, if you like them, we'll keep them. But I'm, I'm thinking this, this is looking a lot nicer. Might actually make that a double road as well. It's gonna look a little bit better if we do. Might even put a fence around it. Let's have a quick look. We've got. Wire fences, but I'm not sure. It doesn't quite look right. I'm just wondering if if we should. So let's let's give it a go. And what what we can do is we can make it impassable. I'll just try and keep them. Keep them to the path a little bit. Let's go with some. Oh, I can't build it because of that. Let's quickly remove that. Oh, can I get a gate in there first? Do, 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 do. No. So we need to remove that. <laughs> and what is it? Yeah. Hopefully that that should about do it now. Go back to the fence. Just trying to trying to get it right. Can I, yes, that will do nicely. Oh, it's going to mess me up a little bit there, though, because I need to get a corner piece in. There's an easy way of fixing that, and that's to move the road. 
<laughs> I think I'm in one of those moods where it's just everything has to be right today. There we go. We'll get some corner pieces in here. thing is I don't know if to have to make these impassable I think they're already impassable so hopefully what will happen if, if I've done this right is they will have to stick to the paths which is really what what I want them to do as much as possible at least because it just stops some blooming far tossing around and going in all different directions and, and that really bugs me so I'll probably end up doing a lot of fences and, and walls dotted around everywhere. I won't, I won't sit here and do entire episodes of it. <laughs> Don't worry. Might as well do a piece there. Okay. Let's... Uh, there. So you know, I'm, I'm going to give this a rest now because... He's playing with my eyes, putting all these fences in, and I'm sure it's not the most interesting thing in the world to watch. <laughs> but you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. And then that way, you could say it is it is a valuable thing to watch you put fences and walls in anyway. If if you're having issues with um, people walking every which way they want, and it's not really that kind of help in your production because it, it, it can hinder it when, when they just decide to go off on a tangent oh, there we go, that's looking nice I do like this th this fence but I, the thing is the, the gates never seem to line up with the, the, the front door and <laughs> call me crazy but that, that absolutely drives me insane go. Do you know what? Actually, I think we'll leave it right there. And actually, you know, I'll, I'll finish something that I said I was going to do. Where was it? Over here. Because we've gone we've gone a year, so we'll quickly chuck these houses in. And if we click the right buttons, we will. And then, and then we're kind of ready then for the uh, next little bit of growth that we're going to get. that one let's do it before it snows anyway here we are that's great great there we go and then we'll leave that another year before we put before we put the tops on just to try and space the deaths out a little bit because it does become unbearable look I mean we started the episode next to no people and now we've got quite a few so Where's, oh, look at that, we've gained almost 200 people. Food's still holding its own though, which is, which is quite good. And, yeah, we're definitely on the up. Let's see if we can get it to 1500 by the end of the next episode. Let's, let's give ourselves a bit of a challenge. But on that note, until next time, as always, take care.